Morning everyone, hope you're doing well. Let's make sure that this is in frame here. Noble Otter Orbit. The first and only Noble Otter soap that I have uh, at this point in time. Uh, we'll talk about the soap, we'll talk about some other stuff, but uh, yeah, this is the first day back to work. So, um, after having the baby and you know, some paternal leave and that type of, th uh, that type of stuff. Anyway, let's wet the face really quick. With some warm water. Oh boy. Well, we're gonna shave with a piece of history today. <laughs> uh, it is uh, an 1890 uh, straight razor. And I've shaved with it before. Um, but I'll show it to you really quick and then we'll start lathering. It is the Hovenden's. Hovenden's. 1890. I mean, these were made between, I think, 1870 and 1900. Um, but what I found on these uh, shilling hollow ground, Hobbiton shilling hollow grounds, these were actually produced between 1880 and 1885. And um, the history is straight razors back then, and still today, are, you know, um, obviously, not so much today, but back then they were just like, you know, throwaway things. For the most part, um, you know, companies would give them away as for advertisement and that type of stuff. For one shilling, whatever. So, that's what that is. That's a one shilling uh, razor. And um, it was marketing material. Hovenden's made razors for, like, for marketing, essentially. So, yeah. Just a little bit of information. We're using the Maggard 30 millimeter uh, synthetic here. Can you empty that out? This knot is absolutely massive. You don't need to soak uh, synthetic. It's just, I don't know, it's a habit for me. So we're going straight to the puck. That's the side label, by the way. Uh, the scent on this is very pleasant. Um, I will say when I first purchased this and it came to me, um, and I, I know this to be the case because some of our very first releases, Midnight Moves, Love Indoors, um, not so much Love Indoors, Midnight Moves and Emerald Pools, uh, I've, I've had the same thing happen to me on some of those soaps that I haven't used in a very long time and that have sat for some time. Anyway, when I first got this soap, uh, I used it and or, or I, I didn't use it. I just smelled it off of the puck and I made a video of this as well. And just smelling it off of the puck, I'm like, man, I don't get very much scent on this. Like, everybody's ranting and raving about this, and I'm just not getting it. I don't know if it's my nose or what. But I used it, I lathered it, and it bloomed. Um, that's the load there. So, for whatever reason, at that point in time, I was a bit upset that, like, you know, something wrong with my soap puck or what. But, uh... Um, knowing what happened now, obviously, making soap, um, that probably had just been sitting around for some time, maybe a couple of months, several months, and, uh, you know, it just, it doesn't lose its scent, per se, but it does kind of, um, because you're, you're only smelling the top layer, right? Whenever you pop open a jar of soap, you're, you're obviously just smelling that top layer of fragrance that's in the soap, so, um, it had just kind of lost that little top layer and just a quick lather and brought it back and this is just a phenomenal scent. So I always, from now on, or you know, from, from that point on, I w I've always told myself, you know, just make sure before you say anything about scent, you can't just crack open a tub and scent, like smell it, smell the scent, no, no, let's lather it first. Lather is flying everywhere. I had a sample of uh, uh, RAR, I believe is what it was. I, I believe this has menthol in it as well. My lips are getting a bit uh, tingly. Not overly tingly. My face is actually not at all. But my lips, for some reason, are getting a little ting tingly. That may be just uh, the fragrance in here. Um, or it could be some menthol. It feels more like menthol, though. It doesn't feel like fragrant. 
So, I don't know. I don't know. But, very nice. Alright, cool. You rinse off just the handle. I don't like having the handle full of soap. Let me angle the, uh, well, maybe, maybe just a little bit. Angle the, uh oh, lose focus. Hello. Hello. All right, cool. Yeah, so uh, on this, I, I have my, I actually did a, um, a Nagira with <laughs> my black arc stone to finish here. So, It'll be interesting to see how this edge is. This is some super hard steel. Don't know what kind of steel it's from centuries ago. So let me throw my glasses on just so I can see. When I when I purchased this, it had uh, a bit of a like a I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up or not, but on the very tip there, right here, it had a bit of a nick. So I just kind of took my Dremel and kind of like rounded it off a little. I made it into like kind of like a sheep's foot type thing. I think I spoke about that in the initial video. Very, very hard steel. Not really looking forward to going back to work, but um, I, I don't mind my job. I, I really don't. Um, I enjoyed the drive. I've always enjoyed driving though, but like I enjoy the drive to work. I enjoy um, the people I work with. I, I enjoy the work I do. Um, honestly, the only thing that I really, really dislike when about uh, not just this job, but any job is just waking up. At the crack of dawn to work. That's literally it. I'm a night owl, so I have to kind of force myself to <laughs> go to sleep. At night, so I can get up and go to work the next morning, you know. But, um, you know, it's kind of a bit of a blemish I must have chopped off back there. But yeah, it's, um, other than that, like, and that's it, that's with any job, so. Let um, me rinse off real quick. We'll get, we're gonna do one more pass. I had a little bit of the uh, right here. It actually, it's not even that big. I just smeared it right here. I apparently cut myself. I don't. I didn't even feel it. But anyway, <laughs> so um, all that blood uh, that was in the lather did not come from right there. That was the only spot that I had seen though uh, before I rinsed off. Anyway, we're good. That little spot there will heal up within probably 24 hours. 
like Superman, no Superman, uh, not Superman, uh, X, X-Men, right? It's Wolverine. Wolverine would probably heal up within like two seconds, but anyway, 24 hours works for me. I'll put a little bit of Neosporin on it and some Windex. I remember watching that movie, um, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, probably in the early 2000s. Um, I don't know exactly when it came out, but when it, whenever it came out, that's when I went to go see it with uh, uh, a girlfriend at the time. And... Um, like maybe like 2000, I don't even know, I don't even know. But anyway, um, my big fat Greek wedding and uh, they were, every every little thing that they had an issue with, they would just put Windex on. So if you have never seen that, you wouldn't have gotten that reference, but anyway. They had like a broken ball and they, they would put Windex on the broken ball. It was just, you know, it was just funny. A movie that I have not seen in a while. I'm not, I'm not a big movie buff. I don't watch everything that comes out. I don't, I haven't, uh, last movie I've seen, last movie I saw was uh, Maverick, um, uh, the, the Tom Cruise Top Gun movie, although it's not Top Gun anymore, it's like, I don't know, whatever it was, uh, with Maverick. And, um, but I didn't even go to a theater to see that. I, I saw that uh, at, at the house several weeks after it was released. But, uh... A movie that I saw many, many years ago with Adam Sandler. And I'm not a huge Adam Sandler, like, new movie guy. I think some of his old stuff is great. But his new stuff, I'm just not a fan of. Um, but his older stuff, he, he has The Cobbler. Right? And The Cobbler... Um, it was when we had an old AT&T subscription... And on that subscription, they would give you like free movies every month or whatever. And uh, the cobbler popped up one day, and I watched it, and I was like, "Wow, that's a really cool movie." It's an interesting concept. So yeah, the cobbler, Adam Sandler movie. I don't even know if it was in theaters. I never, I never saw it other than, you know, it being on uh, the AT&T thing. So, I don't know. I can't tell you anything about, like, what year it came out or anything like that. Um, but it's a good movie. I really did enjoy it. Had a good storyline. Had a good plot. It was, it was good. It was good. I liked it. But, yeah, new movies. I'm just not really interested in many, to be honest with you. Plus, it's so expensive now, you know. Um, and expense is, is relative, you know, per person. But, like, to go to a movie theater, like, if, if I'm going to a movie theater, I'm getting popcorn, I'm getting, like, a soda, right? And a popcorn's, like, eight bucks, nine bucks, like, and a soda's, like, you know, seven, eight bucks. So, it's, like, before you even sit down and have your ticket, you're, you're, you're like, if you're going with you and your wife or you and your kids and you whatever, you know, you're, you're spending, like, 75 bucks. And you're not like getting that to get full. You 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 have to eat a meal before or after, so it's it's, it's a whole thing, and it's just way too much, um, in my opinion. Florida water. Haven't used this in quite some time. Love the scent though. Love the scent. But uh, yeah. So as far as the movie theater, and then the tickets obviously have also skyrocketed. Over the past several years, right? They're not cheap either. Although I do think it's either early Sunday or early Saturday mornings. 
they do have the um, early bird tickets or something like that, and I think those are half off. So instead of like 14 or 15 per ticket, it's like seven or 750. So if you did that, you know, eh, still expensive. I remember, I remember going to the theater with 10 bucks when I was a kid, okay? And I'm not a grandpa, it wasn't like it was 50 years ago. Um, like we're talking 15 to 20 years ago. And going to the theater with 10 bucks, spending five in the arcade, spending like 30 minutes in the arcade for five bucks. And then, you know, just getting, putting uh, five bucks in, getting, was it five? So it'd be like 20, uh, the little quarters or whatever. And um, the arcade coins, you know, taking a little while to spend those 30 minutes, or whatever, and then going to watch the movie with friends. And it, the, the ticket was like another 350 or something and I can get a soda or, you know, whatever. It's just way, it's like, man, everything's, I don't know, I don't know. Hopefully we get right soon. Who knows? All right, guys, that's the shave. Uh, to recap, let's see. We went with the Hovenden's one shilling. Yeah, shilling hollow ground razor. Um, yeah, 18, 1880s, 1890s. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'll strop that, dry it off, get that put away. Orbit was the soap. Very nice from Noble Otter. 30 millimeter maggard synthetic and finish it off with some Florida water. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you next time.